Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, another rank up video. Uh, again, it's going to be a six star. And this one, I thought about for quite a bit, and it's been a while. I should have ranked this champion up a long time ago. But if you think you can guess who I am talking about, leave a comment below. Let me know who you think I just took up. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Red Hulk. Now, a lot of you probably already know how awesome this guy is. He's not a new champion. I remember uh, when he got a rework and he was made much, much better. Now, a couple of things to note about Red Hulk. He is not incinerate immune. What happens is he converts incinerates. Uh, he is not poison immune. He converts. The reason why this is important is because when you're fighting against Archangel and you get really unlucky, you can get neurotoxins on you. And like me, when that happened the first time, I was like, what just happened? How did I get neuros on me? Because that little split second that it's on you before it gets converted, you can get the neuros if you are very unlucky and Archangel is really lucky. All right. So I wanted to take him up uh, for quite a while. So instead of going into Realm of Legends, we're going to head into Act 7 on a particular path. All right, so we're going to head into Act 7, Chapter 4, Quest Number 5. There's a path in there that is Hazard, Shift, Incinerate, Poison. Perfect for Red Hulk. Now, I did this live and I didn't have my six star ranked up. I only had my five star ranked up. And I wished I had had my six star ranked up. So after doing this, I said, you know what? I need to just go ahead and take him up so that I have him ready if I need to do paths like this in the future. Uh, Act eight has dropped uh, 8.1. I don't know if there's a hazard shift incinerate poison path in there, but if there is, I want to be ready with my Red Hulk. Now, something else that I learned the hard way. Uh, I learned about his awakened ability. Now, for this particular path, doesn't really matter. But when I was ranking up my five star, it was to take on a Mephisto. Now, Mephisto has that incinerate aura, okay? So he doesn't actually place any debuff on you to be converted. So I got wrecked. I had taken my five-star up, went to that Mephisto, confident that I was going to take him out. And what happened? He wrecked me with that aura. And I'm like, why am I taking damage? Because he wasn't awakened. When he is awakened, he gains some resistance to that energy, and he doesn't need a lot of sig in order to become pretty much immune to that aura. So as long as I stay away from auras and things like that, I'm going to be fine. So like for this path, he does not need to be awakened at all. All right. Now, as you can see here, uh, I was playing it a little bit uh, careful. Uh, we have a bug going on right now, which is why Miles is not uh, going into camouflage. He is going into camouflage mode, but you just can't tell. Uh, I tried to remember not to fire my special, but I did. And he didn't, you know, show any visible signs of going, but he did go into his uh, camouflage mode. But as you can see, we were able to do that fight pretty Quickly, easily, in Act 7, uh, six stars get a nice little bonus as well. And uh, I will eventually take this guy up to rank 3. Uh, I don't know when, but I will. The other thing I like about him 
is that he's very easy to play. He's not complicated. You don't see me having to do a whole lot of ramping up or anything like that, especially on this path. Okay, now, if you fire off a special one, that will help you ramp up faster, but there's no need because uh, the hazard shift incinerate poison, you just have to be aggressive, just, just fight. And you're gonna get poisons, if you've been watching, you're going to get poisons and incinerates on you, and they're gonna get converted, and you're gonna be ramped up. So, for most of the fight, he's gonna be pretty much maxed out. And it's a very, very easy path for him. Now, um, I'm, I'm also happy that they changed a Juggernaut. If you haven't seen the new Juggernaut, uh, you'll notice that he's not going unstoppable like he usually does. He didn't start out unstoppable or anything like that. He is more of an offensive juggernaut now than a defensive juggernaut. So he's much easier to fight. And since I'm running suicides, which is also something you need to factor in when you're looking at his damage, um, I was trying not to fire a lot of specials off. So I was playing it a little bit slower than uh, you know I would if I wasn't running suicide. And especially on this path, uh, you get a lot of armor breaks. Well, I run willpower, so I'm also healing up from those armor breaks. But the way you're really, I guess, supposed to uh, play it or how they expect you to is to fire lots of specials because every special you throw on this path, it removes one of the armor breaks. But I don't really care about all that. I just get the willpower healing, try not to get hit a whole lot. Now, this is a longish fight. I was trying to uh, play it pretty safe. Uh, he is annoying to fight anyway. And it's because of this right here. Right after that, he goes into auto block mode. You don't want to hit him twice because he'll auto block it. Now, he doesn't have, I don't think you'll get parried, but I'm not sure. I couldn't remember um, if it's a, a parry uh, response here. So what I just did, was I hit him only once. Okay, just like once, backed off. And because, look at the damage that he did hitting into my block because of all those armor breaks. So I was taking a lot of damage into my block. And I'm like, oh, boy. But he's going down. We're doing damage. I just skipped the fight because the fight was already, I mean, skipped the uh, special three because the fight's already taking longer than I like. You know how much I love long fights. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, we're getting him down. And this time I'm dancing away, trying to avoid getting hit into my block so much because it was doing a lot of damage. Now, you can fire off his special two and it regens some. And again, I'm used to holding my specials a lot because of the suicides and because of that recoil mastery. Uh, so that's just the style that I'm just comfortable with. Uh, so if you're wondering why wasn't I just doing that, that's why. Okay, so here we go. I can't remember, did I fire? Yeah, I did. Uh, and look, you saw how much I regen. So it, it's great, you know, you get that regen and he'll go down a little bit faster. All right, so you see here, that time I was waiting it out a little bit, uh, but you can see just how good, and, and this is only rank two. He's only at rank two right now. So I, <laughs> for this particular type of path, any hazard shift, incinerate, poison, uh, I'm going to most likely bring Red Hulk, even at rank two but I do want to get him up there. Yep, see that? I'm starting to use the special two a little bit more because I saw that it didn't take a lot. The recoil didn't hurt all that much. All right, now I don't think I'm gonna do this next fight. Let me see, what was this next fight? Yeah, I think this will be the last fight, guys. Yeah, we don't want to deal with that fight. He had a whole lot of armor ups and it was long. We don't need to deal with that. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you see where Red Hulk can be very, very useful. 
Uh, take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. A nice little surprise uh, Saturday night video. Uh, so take care, and you all have a blessed day. Thank you.